welcome to Ruth and Ruby's Ultimate Sleepover Challenge! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Ruth and Ruby back here with another Ultimate Sleepover Challenge, and no sleepover is complete without some DIY crafting. So we're gonna show you guys how we make school supplies that you can eat. Welcome to Edible School Supplies Challenge. Can we eat the sun? We'll find out. We're gonna first start off with some edible scissors. So this is two different kinds of mold putty and I'm forming it into one. Whoa, I can, I can hold it. Next up, take a pair of scissors and press them into the mold. Oh, okay, this is good. Now the mold has to dry. So while Ruthie's mold is drying, I am going to microwave these little hard apple candies until it's a liquid. This is That's perfect. It. Okay, we have a dried mold here. Now we're just gonna take out the scissors and replace it with the candy goo. We want it to end up looking something like this. We're gonna take one of these yellow candies and we're gonna put it on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes. <gasps> You're doing so good. It really helps to have a motivational speaker right next to you. Yeah! Then we're gonna put another yellow candy on the top of that. Oh, yeah, just once you're done eating it. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah. This candy goes delicious. It's like candy spaghetti. Okay, now we've gotta let this dry. Okay, so the candy has dried. It's time to take out this mold and see what it looks like. Oh, we did it! <gasps> oh my gosh! Yo! Whoa! This is actually so cool. This is very good. Oh, whoa! It's sour. <laughs> <laughs> best scissors I've ever had. We are going to be making pencils now, and I'm gonna warn you, these are some of the most realistic edible pencils you'll probably ever see, so just brace yourself. Right now, I'm just getting the mold all softened and mixed together, and then you're gonna stretch it out to as long as a pencil, and I'm just gonna push the pencil on, and then close it up so it seals. Once it's dried, pop your pencil out. There you have it. So now we have the perfect mold for our pencil, and what are we gonna fill the mold with, Rufy? We are going to fill it with white chocolate chips. We're gonna put it in the microwave for 30 second intervals and stir. Oh yeah! yeah. Woo! We're gonna be using food coloring, and we're gonna turn this white chocolate yellow. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Hey, it's starting to look a little more yellow. I think it's ready to go in our mold. <laughs> Let's put it in the syringe. I think that'll definitely help us with accuracy because I'm very clumsy. We're gonna use this to inject it into the mold. <gasps> oh! Let's okay. just, just blum, salt. Okay, so our chocolate pencil is now dry and it's time to paint it. For the paint, we're gonna be using food coloring and icing. And for the more detailed work, we are gonna use edible marker. Okay, the lead is finished and I think we're done. I think we did a really great job. It does look like a real pencil. Should I try it out? Try it, try <gasps> Oop. Well, this is the piece I'm gonna have. <laughs> That's good, it's really sweet. Would recommend. We are now going to be making an edible roller. I'm just gonna put some cornstarch all over the pad. It just really keeps everything from sticking to the table. Now that our hands are all pinky, we're gonna take our dye and we're just gonna cover that all over the gum paste. Now we're just gonna knead it together. So we've got a rolling pin and now it's time to get to work. The goal is to just keep working it until it's about as thin as a ruler. Now we're gonna trace the edges of the ruler and cut it out. Okay. Ta-da! We let the gum paste dry, and now it's time to add our marks so we can make it look like a ruler. Cue intense music. <laughs> All right. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! So mine has, you know, a little customized little swirl at the top. You know? Mine doesn't, but that's all right. Here we go. One, two, three. I really don't mind this. It's actually very good. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching our edible DIY school supplies video. This has been a lot of fun and we'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome to Ruth and Ruby's Ultimate Sleepover Challenge! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Ruth and Ruby back here with another Ultimate Sleepover Challenge and no sleepover is complete without some DIY crafting. So we're gonna show you guys how we make